Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little video for you guys. It's uh, Duke vs Michigan College Hoops 2K8. Just a quick play game. Basically just another little update video. Uh, last episode I had on the channel, the first one in a while was just a video asking what you guys wanted to see on the channel. A few of you guys wanted some more NCAA Football Dynasty. A couple of you kind of wanted some College Hoops 2K8, and that's the game I've been playing a lot of as of recently. So that is probably what I'm going to be bringing both those games back to the channel, but especially College Hoops 2K8. I finally can record some PlayStation 3 gameplay. So I have this playing for you right here, Duke vs. Michigan. These are updated rosters too. If you guys want to know how to get the updated rosters, I'll make a video on it step by step how to get updated rosters for College Hoops 2K8 2018-19 rosters so you can play with these guys like Zion Williamson, RJ Bear, Cameron Reddish, and Jordan Poole from Michigan as well as others on the whole entire roster base. They're all there. The only thing that's messed up with these rosters is some of the guys are lower overall. You'll see some of the top guys in the nation are only about like 82 as like 83 overall is the highest that comes on the game but it balances out because your average players are around like 74 75 overall so you can definitely tell the difference between the 82 83 star players however it's not like other games where the star players are going to be like 90 95 overall so uh, that's what I can bring to you guys. If you want to see how to get updated rosters, make sure you let me know. Otherwise, I, otherwise, if you need it, immediately in the comment section, go ahead and let me know that you want it right now. And I can just type you out a step-by-step -step process of how to get the updated rosters. But this video is not for just updated rosters. This is for what I'm going to bring to the channel with College Hoops 2K8. I'm going to do a legacy mode. Um, it's going to be it's going to be an open legacy legacy mode. If you don't know the difference, if you just start career legacy mode, then you start with a really bad team and build them up. And I'm going to do an open legacy mode. However, I'm going to limit myself a little bit, and I'm going to use a mid major type team, somebody that's not in a big Probably not anybody in the Big Ten or ACC, or probably not even SEC. Uh, but if you want to see me use a team from like the Big East or something like that, make sure you comment which team you want me to use. Someone out of the A10, maybe something like that. You just have to let me know what team you want me to use. Uh, any options are really available. At the end of the day, I'm gonna really choose who I see fits me best for my needs and where I want to go. Um, so that's gonna be one series. Another series, I'm either debating doing just a straight up another like good team a big 10 team or an acc team or something like that or i am looking at doing uh i'm doing looking at doing a like a my player mode because in that game you can turn on player lock and you can control just one player and i'm thinking maybe i was going to do a my player mode but i know uh that's all mostly 2k19 nba now they have that big uh, you know their gameplay there with that kind of stuff so I don't really know if I want to touch a whole on my player or if I do want to create one and just follow his legacy throughout his college career and hopefully work his way to the top of the college basketball ranks but I'm not quite sure what we'll to see how everything plays out uh, I'm not really for sure what uh, everything's gonna look like because I haven't played this game in quite a long time uh, I've been playing it more recently and hopefully you guys will enjoy that I'm also gonna be bringing back the NCAA football you might have already seen it um, in the next coming days but if you haven't seen this video right when it comes out I might, might have already posted an NCAA football 14 Idaho coaching carousel and for the time being it looks like I might try to continue the Rutgers dynasty still haven't decided on that though if I want to start fresh and just wait for the team builder to be working or if I'm going to uh, continue the Rutgers dynasty or go back to the Kansas dynasty that could also be an option I still have that save file so you guys really just need to let me know which ones you want to see with this college hoops 2k 2k game I just put a lot of work into it. I wasn't really planning on posting it but then I was able to finally record PlayStation 3 gameplay so I was like why not you know college basketball is getting to that time of the year we're in conference play March Madness will be coming up I love college hoops that's probably the thing I watch the most out of all sports I love watching college football but college basketball is probably what I watch the most of I go to a few games during the year too so it could be a lot of fun I do enjoy watching those but I did, I did go really in-depth one day when I got the rosters, I downloaded the rosters, but I also went very in-depth on some slider sets because the one thing that makes NCAA Football 14 Dynasties not as fun for me is the fact that I'm out of school for like two years maybe at the least, uh, but 
it's pretty much two or three years, and by that time, I'm competing for conference championships or I'm ranked now, and it just needs to be harder of a grind. I know, I know, I don't want to be sitting out of school for ten years, and I'm three and nine each and every year, but it needs to be more difficult. I don't want to go into games and just I can only run a select few of plays, and I'm not really, you know, forcing anything because I know if I really wanted to cheese, I could probably beat the CPU even on Heisman with custom sliders like 52 to 10. So if there's any good slider sets out there, then make sure you let me know so I can check them out for NCAA Football 14. But I did find a very difficult one for College Hoops 2K8. Um, I found a, yeah, it's a really tough slider set. It's going to make the series a lot of fun no matter what team I choose. We're going to struggle, but... We're going to keep working our way through the growing pains. I started in Iowa Dynasty, and I played the first game against Idaho State, who I won by four against, 73-69, very realistic stats and everything. And then I played someone like, I don't even know, Montana something or Northern Colorado or something like that, and we went to overtime, and I won in overtime. So those are some tough games, and I'm, and I'm trying to win. And that was after I've already played a few games of the game, so I got back used to the controls. So... Uh, it's very tough slider set. If you want to know about those two, I can make that in the next video when I do an updated roster, how to get the updated roster step by step. So you guys just need to let me know if any of those things are some things you want to see and what team you want me to use for my College Hoops 2K8 Legacy Mode. Should be a lot of fun bringing College Hoops back to the channel as well as NCAA Football 14. I might, I might do some research in the next coming days uh, for a uh, slider set for NCAA Football 14 just so I can get that back rolling and finally find that game more competitive and a lot more fun to play in the near future that will give you guys uh, some things to watch uh, hopefully for NCAA football 14 so hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you leave in the comment section the things you want to do and make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe if you're new to stay up to date on all the content thank you guys for watching as always I'm out peace